All right, so I got uh, my last subscriber question uh, of the morning to sort of run through. And this one really comes with us to us about turnkey investments, right? We've had a couple of turnkey providers uh, in recent interviews, and there's a general interest in you know turnkey providers. First off, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I talk about in my book, um, you know, buying properties that are fully remodeled and ready to go, have low repairs that first year being a, a key for new investors, especially ones with full-time jobs. Uh, I admit to making a mistake earlier in my career, sort of buying cheap properties and then wasting cash on the repairs and um, really documented how that really slowed us down in the beginning. So I, I get it. Uh, the other thing is when I got this question and kind of sketched out my answers, it really came the topic of you know how not to get ripped off uh, kind of jumped in my mind because I know everybody in this business isn't ethical. I know everyone in this business is um, not out to, to help everyone. Uh, you know, many people in this business are out for themselves. So this this is really, you know, in my opinion, how not to get ripped off. Um, you know, because there are some some bad apples out there. So the first and f first one is critical to me, and it actually goes back to what we what I found with property managers, kind of the same rule, and that is the principal, right? The owner or maybe the marketing face or whoever's out there sort of pushing this has to invest in the market that they're asking others to invest in. If the principal doesn't have anything or is a, you know, a small number like one or two, I'm not interested, right? If they're, if they're just putting on a brave face and, you know, they look good on camera and, you know, all of that stuff, I am not interested in uh, working with that organization. It could be great. Don't get me wrong. This is just, these are one of these little hints or indicators that would really turn me off fast. So the second one is, um, you know, I like focus and scale. So what I mean by that is, you know, if I'm working with a turnkey provider, uh, you know, I like the two principals or three principals or, you know, whatever, five people, um, but they seem to be in 12 different markets, that's a red flag. Um, I don't see in my experience with rental properties how scale efficiencies, learning markets can be achieved when you're in 12 different markets with one eighth of your time invested. Uh, I think I would run away pretty scared if I, I ran into a, a, you know, a turnkey provider that offered me something here, something there, something over here. And oh, by the way, there's one down here also. That would be a red flag for me. Um, you know, the other thing is, is a lot of these turnkey providers are taking rundown properties and, or slumlord properties, which is awesome. Frankly, it's what I buy now is slumlord properties. And they're putting on a fair amount of work, right? They're, they're investing, you know, 10 grand on the low ends, maybe a light rehab to 50 or 60,000. So I'd want to, I'd want to see some type of warranty or certainty, at least for a year. Right now, again, these are landlord properties. So if the tenant breaks something, you know, the tenant's kid threw something through a window or whatever, you're not going to hold the, the turnkey provider uh, for that. But if, um, you know, I don't know, the plumbing leaks or, you know, something, something that was definitely caused or not addressed during the repair, I'd want to know they have our back, right? And maybe they don't cover the whole thing because uh, maybe it's just wear and tear. I, I get it. But I'd certainly want to know they're there and they're going to come in and help it at some level. That would be a, a big deal. This fourth one for me actually came from a conversation I had with uh, Michael Jordan, uh, one of the interviews uh, back. And no, not Michael Jordan, the basketball player. Michael Jordan, the turnkey provider in Detroit. And that is, I want a turnkey provider that spends at least as much, if not more time, talking about how they handle tenants. I was really encouraged by how Michael did that. A lot of the turnkey providers I talk to talk about how they find houses, talk about how they buy them cheap, talk about how they remodel them, but not many go to the next step of talking about how they're going to handle tenants, how tenants are seen as a client. And that's a big deal, right? Because if you're offering me a turnkey investment, I'm potentially committed for 10 years, at least a decade, because that's how long I have to hold them, uh, in my model anyway. Um, and I'm going to have several tenants over that 10 years. And if you're just going to buy me something, sell it to me and move on, I'm not interested, right? I don't want to build another team in another, another market, right? That's, that's just frankly too hard. And that's, what kept, that's what's kept me from investing in other markets is I don't want 
I don't want to build another team. That's that's too risky, too costly, too far away, just bad things. So if the proper if the turnkey provider only talks about the property they bought and the property they sold, I'm going to run away. Right? I want to know how they're going to handle tenants, what systems they have in place. You know, I want to go as far as how many people do you want to know that are running the property manager, right? If there are 12 people in acquisitions and one managing tenants, not a good not a good situation. Uh, and that really leads to number five, which is I want to know their full focus. A turnkey provider does four things. One is they market opportunities. So I want to understand how they do that, right? Because are they just buying out of the MLS? Do they have wholesale? Do they do direct mail? What are they doing? Next, I want to understand what, what does the repair team look like, right? Is, is it a separate company? Do they GC it out? Do they have their own general contractors? You know, how does that all work? And, you know, what kind of warranties and permitting and, and all of that? Uh, I want to understand the sale. I want to make sure that I'm getting at least a fair price. I'm not going to get a you know a bargain, I'm sure, but I'd want to know it's fair. Um, I see too many turnkey providers taking advantage of people from California or New York or other markets by marking them up ten grand. Now, ten grand probably doesn't look like a lot when you're coming from a market where the average house is half a million, but ten grand could be twenty percent on some of these houses, and it's just a shame that we're letting them do that to us. And then the fourth one is what I just talked about. I want to understand their commitment to managing, right? Because if they don't have at least as much and frankly more focus on managing tenants, I don't want to work with them because I want somebody who's going to be around for the long term. And if they sell me a house, it's a one day thing, but I'm going to have tenants for 10, 20 years. How, you know, are they going to stick by me or do I have to go find another property manager, which is just too hard from states away. So in the end, the five keys to not getting ripped off are the principal needs to be an investor, I like focus and scale in a market. They must provide some type of warranty on their market. Uh, they must, must, must have a focus on property management. And lastly, I want to understand their focus on their buy, their repair, their sell, and their manage. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully helps you from uh, being uh, taken advantage of. Have a great day.